Monday morning, welcome to Wealth Creation Investing's Monday Market Outlook. Matthew Buckley, the Chief Investment Strategist here at WCI. And folks, we are seeing a massive risk on rally today. The futures are just uh, up through the roof, triple digits. Saw a uh, big rally in emerging markets, especially Asia, overnight. Why? Well, uh, Larry Summers, uh, seen maybe as a front runner to replace Fed Chief Ben Mane Ben Bernanke withdrew his name this weekend from uh, the race. And the market saw Summers as a potential hawk, right, as somebody who would uh, take his foot off the accelerator a little bit quicker uh, than a Bernanke clone. And the Bernanke clone is Janet Yellen, and she is now the front runner. But, folks, there, there are some other potential dark horses that are in this race as well that could still be hawks. So this – you know, irrational, irrational uh, exuberance uh, on Summers uh, taking his name out of the race is a little, uh, it's a little too much in my opinion. Especially, uh, folks, we saw the uh, Empire uh, Manufacturing uh, Index hit a four-month uh, low, especially on uh, soft uh, employment. Right, so. Uh, Consensus was a 9.2, 6.3 on the Empire State Manufacturing uh, Index. We'll get some cap rate and industrial production numbers here in a couple minutes, uh, but not good. We saw soft retail sales on Friday. We saw very weak University of Michigan consumer confidence on Friday, and what happened? The market went up. So be very, very careful here uh, of, of a rally based on the continuance of our addiction to crack in this market. That just That's not a good thing for the market to be going up on when we still see weak economic numbers. And I've been t uh, telling my traders here at Wealth Creation with options and also over at Topkin Options that this – uh, we're in a very strange transition period here between a uh, bizarro market, good news, good news, bad news, good news, awful news, great news, and normal markets uh, where good news is good news, bad news is bad news, and awful news is awful news. So we're, we're in this weird transition zone. Uh, I still think, uh, you know, obviously the Fed's got its two-day meeting starting tomorrow. I think when it comes out Wednesday – we still see tapering, maybe to the tune of about 10 to $15 billion. They're going to reduce their asset purchases, but I, I think that's kind of priced in uh, to the market. Uh, so we go higher from here, but be careful, folks. We still have a debt ceiling fight. We have a budget battle, and we have Q3 earnings where the market, I think that'll be the time where uh, we really figure out if we're getting out of a uh, bizarro market or not. Really happy with the performance of the model portfolios here that I'm uh, that I'm managing, uh, especially with our emerging market uh, uh, positions. Uh, they're at three month highs here, and for the past three months, if you've been paying attention to emerging markets or you watch Comedy Central or listen to 500 Pound Heads. Everybody said run as fast uh, as you can away from emerging markets, and that's exactly what we didn't do here at Topkin Options or Wealth Creation with Options from uh, Brazil to Japan uh, to China to Europe. Our emerging market uh, positions are absolutely crushing it uh, right now, so having a, a a great couple months for us uh, just goes to show you folks that listening to 500 pound heads or, or trading uh, tactically not having a strategic mindset uh, can lead you uh, to, to make poor uh, investing decisions again you know your uh, your Stevie Cohen's your your Paulson's uh, your Soros's all these guys did not get to be uber wealthy or, or run these huge hedge funds by following the crowd that's not where you make money uh, they look at places where people are fleeing from has potential buying opportunities and that's what I uh, did when emerging markets when everybody started selling the hell out of them makes no sense capital goes somewhere folks uh, you know as people said well the, if the United States implodes emerging markets are going to implode that that's really old market uh, theory and thinking. The BRIC nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, ha have really st gotten airborne on their own, folks. So if the United States implodes on a, on a taper or a bad earnings or something like that, money's going to, capital's going to flow somewhere. And I think it's going to flow, or and I don't think it has uh, gone to emerging markets. So very happy with our emerging markets uh, uh, 
trades. Going to be closing. I uh, add a couple hedges on uh, for September uh, in case of a Syria or a taper or a lot of volatility or a market pullback. Well, obviously, with this uh, rip your face off rally that we're going to see, I'm going to be closing some of those today. But, you know, uh, I don't look at having insurance in my portfolio as losses. That's the cost of having a car, owning a home, right? You, you pay homeowners for car insurance and you pay it monthly. So I'm uh, going to be closing some of those positions out today. But net net, be, be trade very low lightly here, folks, as uh, the market has this rip your face off rally based on the continuation, per perceived continuation that we're going to be able to take a long drag on the crack pipe. That's never a good thing. OK. And again, uh, just like Colonel Kilgore said, you know, at the end of Apoc or after the napalm strike in Apocalypse Now, someday this is going to end. And it is going to end, and this market's going to have to stand on its own based on uh, corporate earnings, the economy, and just uh, overall health of the United States. And as you all know, since you all are uh, on Main Street, it's not necessarily a good thing right now. Um, so, uh, again, the markets and the economy remain completely disconnected from each other. But those two lines on a graph will intersect again one day eventually. Okay. All right, guys. Got to run. Have a weekly options live trading session over at uh, Top Gun Options here in a little bit. Going to be a very interesting uh, week. So make sure you join us this Friday. I'm going to have a live trading event uh, over at Top Gun Options where you can check out. Uh, we're going to discuss. We're going to debrief what uh, the Fed did. Uh, preview Q3 earnings and how I'm trading just this uh, a very interesting market that we're living in right now. Like I said, the transition period between bizarro and normal markets is going to be volatile, especially with everything we have going on in the world and in Washington. Okay, have a great week, and I'll see you over at Top Gun Options tomorrow for our uh, market sit rep report. We'll see you.